Well, for more on the markets, we are joined over the phone from New York by Canaccord Genuities, uh, David Ravelli. David is the head of trading there. Uh, and uh, it's it's messy out there, David? Yes, it is, Betty. It's very messy. And, uh, you know, this... In uh, this uncertainty over in uh, Greece is really killing the market, and every hedge, every hedge fund manager and fund manager that chased the market last week to, for performance is now got looking at anywhere from four to six percent losses in three days. So it's it's not good, and nobody knows what to do because of the indecision over in Greece. And now they're saying before he can get even get to the referendum, which he was just going to use as a scare technique, he's basically not even, might not even be in office anymore. So that uncertainty is just crushing the market, and as a result, the Italian tenure is blowing out. But how, but, David, how how disorderly is it, though? Tell me what's going on. It's so disorderly. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not like the flash crash disorderly, but it's just disorderly because no one knows what to do anymore. How, how can you trade this market? So it's basically a buyer strike. So, you know, the, when the, the market will stop going down when the selling stops, and, you know, maybe you'll get some momentum traders coming in to buy it, but how can you chase stocks in this environment? It's, you know, if you chased them last week, like I said, you're down 4 to 6 percent. And, and these are professionals. I've been doing this for years. You're down 4 to 6 percent in two, 2 to 3 days. So with all this uncertainty, you're better off letting stocks come to you and risk missing the performance. Well, Dave, one of the things that we want to talk a little bit about is what exactly people are. I mean, is there a level that you're watching right now, or is there a time? Is it pegged to what's happening in Europe? Any resolution? What's your benchmark? What's your kind of peg for when you think you should step back into this marketplace? Well, today, if you're going to trade for today, I would definitely wait for the ISM to come out at 10 o'clock. Maybe you'll get a little lift off that. But I would like to see at least the S&P close above 1230. That's the 100-day moving average. But just think of the technical destruction that was done. Last Week, we climbed above 1257, which was up for the year. It was a Fibonacci retracement level. And then we even went above 1275, which was the uh, S&P 200-day moving average. We've taken all that out in the, the la less than 24 hours from the close yesterday to this morning. Now I'm just try trying to get a benchmark of 1230 on the S&P. So basically, you know, if I was, as a professional investor, a professional trader, I would tell you, your, your viewers just to sit and wait and see what happens over the next few days in Europe. It's impossible to trade this market. If, right. if you're going to go in there, you just so much risk you're taking on. If you want to trade it for the day, I would wait for the ISM to come out. If we get a lift, I'd go after something like the Diamond, which tracks the Dow. It's outperforming the market today. You get the 30 biggest companies in the United States, right. and uh, you'll get to see a, probably a bigger move in that. David, thank you. David Rebelli of Canaccord Genuity.